So, chapter 7. Skip cussing, please. Skip the sub episode. You don't want to watch it. Skip these cutscenes here. And then once you get to the second page on this part, it's the battle here. You want to hit R2 on. Hit R2 or whatever you use to go to the headquarters. This is the first headquarters menuing of, of the run. So, if you didn't get Yoko or Theod, if you didn't get both of them in your recruitment, you want to look in here. And uh, normally, and if you're lucky, you'll see one of them. If you're unlucky, you'll see no shock, no lancers appear in part of your recruitment. It's all random. What units appear in your recruitment again? So since I already have Yoko and Theod, I don't need to go into the base, but just show off what happens if you don't get them. You want to go in here and actually grab them. Uh, if you also need Wavy or Nancy, then you also grab them here at the same time, and Marina as well. Now you go to the training field. And we're going to be leveling up Scouts to 7. Shock Troopers to 4, Lancers to 8, and Snipers to 3. So you want to go... So you want to start at Scouts, move down to Shock Troopers, and then Lancers. And level up. And then from here you go from Lancers upwards to Snipers. So just master all that. So Lancers, Shock Troopers, Scouts, and then hit up again to go to Snipers. And just master all this text here. So snipers, scouts, shock troopers again, and lancers. Now from here we're done leveling up snipers and shock troopers for this menu. So you're just gonna go lancers and scouts now. So lancer, scout. And then once more to get scouts to seven and lancers to eight. So the important thing for this uh, leveling up is that we get Lancers to 8 because it gets us this order here, Demolition Boost. And that's the big one, we want Demolition Boost. And after that, we level up, never level up Lancers again. Now to the Research and Development facility here. Weapons and Rifles. If you want to be risky, you could not level up Rifles at all, but just for safety, I'm going to be leveling up Rifles. It also makes it... It also makes it a lot more consistent later on. So get the Galleon 4 here. Like you don't need to scroll the screen anymore. Any at all. Just get this weapon here. Hit R1 to go to uh, machine guns. Level up machine guns to the Max M3. So level up rifles, level up machine guns. That's it. You want to get the first upgrade, and that's it. Don't grab the second upgrade. This is bad. You want this. Just stop here. Hit, go. To so the rifles, uh, sniper rifles, you want level 2 sniper rifles, and that's it for the rest of the run. Don't level up grenades, uh, and then level up your uniforms. So level uniform 4, and that's it, stomach upgrades. From there, hit circle, and then up to go to the anyways upgrades, and body enhancements. So you're going to want reinforce body 1, so that we can do it later, so that we could uh, get something else later. Reinforced Barrel, Enter Armor Shell, and the Mortar Upgrade. We level up these two just for this. We don't care about these two at all. We do it so that we can grab this upgrade right here. So yeah, you basically just do the entire left upgrade tree so you can't anymore. And then from here, we're going to want the extra capacity, but I'm also going to be grabbing Sight Upgrades to make the Analyze a little bit more consistent later. So Sight Upgrades, Put it in the first slot. Side upgrade 2. Select it to the right. And done. And then expand capacity. You don't need the side upgrades. I just grab it so I'm more consistent later. And once you have the extra magazine, hit square and then cancel and then confirm to get out of the headboard. Get, get out of the R&D fast. So that's the menuing for chapter 7. And then we go into chapter 7. This is a very complicated battle.
So this uh, deployment is actually complicated as hell. So go here. So from here, scroll down to your first male shock trooper, put him in the default spot. Right? Hit right, select Largol. Hit right and up to select Largol here. Put him in the default slot. Theod, if you have him, default slot. Right? If you have Theod and Yoko, put him in the default slot. If you don't, so let's say if I just had Theod, okay? If I just had Theod, I would put him here. And then put a put any uh, engineer here. But since I have both Theod and Yoko, Theod default spot, Yoko default spot, and then just grab any engineer you want. I'm just going to grab Dallas just because. And that's the recruitment here. So, full speed recruitment, go. So that's what recruitment looks like. It's kind of complicated, but it's pretty simple. Just a uh, shock trooper far right, Largo, Yoko, Theo, uh, Largo, Theo, Yoko, and Engineer in that order. Just shock trooper, Largo, Theo, Yoko, and then Engineer, and then deploy. Alright. So yeah, this chapter is very uh complex. For a couple of things. So you start off with the other ways. Hit left so you select your first lancer here, the old. And immediately run like hell. You just wanna put him behind this wall. That's it, just put him behind the wall. Make sure he's hiding behind the wall. Same thing for your engineer. Just have him or her run behind the wall and hide. Now that all your units are safely hiding behind this wall, select your uh, Lancer here. So your Lancer's gonna be killing all these units here. So turn around. I'll cut this ramp here. Once you reach the top of the ramp, turn to the right. There's a sniper here. Just aim at him. Kill him. So sniper is dead. So we got four units here that we're going to try to kill. So I like to aim towards the Lancer scout here in the middle and just walk straight towards him. We'll get stuck like that. Alright. So I'm going to be heading here, killing this guy, and then by heading here, I try to set up these guys so I can shoot both of them at the same time. And hopefully kill both of them in one shot. So let's see how that goes. So I run towards these guys so I get a good, good position here. Kill the scout here. Just aim for the head. Guaranteed kill for the most part. And immediately enter. So if I were using the female shock trooper, it's so much slower. Immediately aim once they go into action, because I'm already set up in spot. And aim towards this guy's head, but slightly higher, so I shoot this the Lancer's head at the same time. So like so. Oh, I didn't get lucky enough to kill them both. That's fine. So now I'm going to position the exact same double kill with these guys. I'm going to try to get a position to double kill these guys. If you don't get a double kill, it's fine. Slightly more to the left. Slightly too far to the left. There we go. Whatever. So just kill this guy here. Hopefully a few straight bullets. Hit the Lancer. Alright. So I didn't get a double kill. That's fine. Just take the action to kill the Lancer then. You want to make sure everybody is dead. And then just for safety, just take a few steps away from the ledge here. And that's your first turn. Alright, so Maximilian can use order. If he uses order, you lose 10 seconds. There's nothing you can do. It's random. And you just wait it out. Are you relaxing now?
So he just moves forward. That's it. Your turn. So it's going to default on 8 away. Select the 8 away here. Alright. So you see these two sandbags right in front of me? I want to run over the one that's parallel to this trench here. Because that sandbag will get in your way if you don't. Uh, same thing for the other the other sandbag that's parallel to the trench here. So I'm going to be running over both of them. Like so. Just get rid of them. Because if you don't, they're going to get in your way, and it's really bothersome. And you want, after you run them both over, you want to head towards this opening here. And just drive through here. So that's Anoasis first action. Select the Anoasis again. And go around this wall here. Uh, don't get stuck. Go around the wall, and then angle yourself so that you're heading towards around this next corner right here. And that's it. So that's that turn. Once again, he can decide to use the order or not. If he does, you lose 10 seconds. If he doesn't, rejoice. You save 10 seconds. By doing absolutely nothing. So there's going to be a small cutscene here where he runs over your base. Just smash through that text. And there's a tutorial. Master here. And that's the turn. Alright, so for this next turn, turn three, end your turn. Don't do anything. Just end your turn. And you're good. Okay, so if you decide to use an order here, that's actually bad because all units attack persists through your turn. And that means all his turrets do more damage to you. But he didn't use it, so not only did I save 10 seconds, but I can also be more riskier because I don't take as much damage as I would normally. Alright, so turn 4. We're going to destroy all three radiators and kill the Baptimus at the same time. In one turn. So I'm just going to make a save here. So to start off, we're going to select Largo. And I'm going to pretend like they have all units attack up, so I'm going to be running a little safely around these turrets here. So... We're running up the trench here. There's going to be a dead spot right here. Right here is a dead spot where the turrets can't aim at me. want to run here, and then head straight towards the bathroom. From here, you reach this ladder here. Uh, if you don't have... If you didn't activate Tank Slayer like I just did, right, you... So, activate Tank Slayer, and it shoots the radiator. If you don't activate Tank Slayer, what you do then is just climb up and down the ladder until it, act, until it actually triggers. Once it triggers, you aim at the radiator, and then just end your turn. One shot at the radiator. So Largo shoots the back radiator once. Select Largo again. Go down the ladder. Yeah, activate Tank Slayer. Uh, and then climb up this ladder here and repeat the same thing. So if you don't activate Tank Slayer, then you just want to climb up and down the ladder until it activates. But if you do get Tank Slayer, then just shoot the radiator. So that's instant tank slayer three times in a row. What the heck? So shoot three here twice, and that's it. Largo is done. Alright, so Largo has used all three shots with tank slayer. So this radiator here has 70 HP. This radiator here has 1150 HP, I think. And this radiator here is full HP. So now you select Yoko if you have her. If you don't have Yoko, then you select Theo, because you need one or the other. You need either Theo or Yoko, or both. You can't have none. If you have none, reset. And do it all over again until you have one of them. So, Yoko, run to the same dead spot. See the dead spot here, they can't aim at you. Straight to the corner here. And I didn't activate Tank Slayer, so I'm going to be climbing up down this ladder until I do. Um, you can also just use Iron Movement to hug the tank here until it triggers. Like that. That's only you have actions left. So shoot this radiator, it goes down to 70 HP. You don't want to kill him, you want to leave that 70 HP. That's why we don't upgrade the land, star, uh, land car to the M3. It will kill him. Alright, so now we go to the left radiator here. And tanks are not activated, so I'm going to just rub my face against the tank here. Okay, I'm out of AP, so I'm going to climb the ladder now. Tanks there, good. So just shoot the radiator. 
And then do this one more time. No tank slayer, so... That. Don't do that. Fine. Shoot the right here, and done. So, just to review what's happened so far, we shot all three radiators twice with Tank Slayer active with my Lancers. So, we have two Lancers out of ammo on top of the ladders and three radiators all at 70 HP. Alright, so we're going to have to, on oh, go. Orders, Demolition Boost. Hit up to go straight to the Demolition Boost. And then select the headways here. So with Demolition Boost, our Mortars now are strong enough to actually deal damage to the Radiators. And the AoE is big enough, so I can hit all three at the same time. So, save here. So, drive around the corner here. And you want to wait till you reach this gap right here. Which kind of reaches this gap. This gap right here. Switch to the Mortar. And aim right below the radiator. Like right below the middle of the radiator. Aim as far forward as possible and then aim at the middle. And there you should hit all three radiators. And you'll go. Just because it's fun. So all three radiators just took 50 damage. So now we're going to do it again. Right, aim as far forward as possible. And aim below the middle of the radiator. The black spot there. And then all three radiators are dead now. So we just sequence break the chapter. And now all three countries are going to play at the same time. Or one after another. So after the first text, there's going to be a small cut to here that you skip. And then more text smashing. So make sure you're skipping. And then text smash. So that's the second cutscene. Here's the third cutscene. And immediately end your turn. Alright, so now we have Theod. So yeah, as you can see here, we got our Shock Trooper here surrounded by units. He's majorly screwed. But thankfully we're going to destroy the Bounce of this during this turn. So if you have Theod, select Theod. So if you have both Shock Troopers, Theoko and Theod, then you're fine. Select Theod. If you don't, you select your Engineer to... Uh, restore ammo to Yoko or the old whoever's here, and then destroy the Baptist with that. But we have the old, so the old. Oh, cool, tanks there. So you want to run right next to the Baptist here and then shoot it. Doesn't matter where you. Hmm. That didn't seem right. Oh, that was weird. I might have screwed up. That's fine. Good thing I saved. That was weird. Yeah, that's shoot. That's right. Alright. I'm gonna just reload because that was weird as hell. Activate tank slayer and then un and then lost tank slayer. I don't know what happened there. Let's just do it again. Alright, so, we just destroyed the radiators, select the old. And then just rub, rub, rub yourself on tank until you activate tank slayer here. You want to make sure tank slayer activates every shot, because you need every shot to be tank slayer or else it won't die. So the is good here because he has another potential. I can activate called anti armor boost. But that's a set chance of happening at the start of your turn, and if you don't get it, you can't trigger it. So, yeah, I didn't get anti armor boost, that's fine. Now we're out of movement, so we're gonna climb this ladder to activate Tank Slayer. You need Tank Slayer every single shot, Sally. 
So yeah, just climb ladders to activate, and then you're done. If you get an anti-armor boost on Theod, what you can do is... Uh, if you get an anti-armor boost and a tank slayer... Uh, on the same shot, you, they stack, so you do a ton of damage to the Baptimus. If you manage to get that to happen, then you could have the anime shoot the Baptimus twice, and then that's the end of the chapter. But otherwise, you need to reload the Lancer, and then shoot it two more times with Tank Slayer. So we're going to be doing just that. So, we're not out of ammo, all our guys, so we have an Engineer here. Like, reload. So reload, make sure you're out of range, uh, make sure you run away so that you don't trigger supporting fire, and then just repeat. Just climb more ladders till it's done. Uh, on a turn you run out of ammo, make sure you're at the bottom, you end your turn at the bottom of the ladder, not the top, or else you can't reload the ammo. And that's pretty much catches up. So, five shots of Tank Slayer, and he's dead. And that's chapter seven.